VMware Certified Professional, Data Center Virtualization Requirements, Six Critical VCP Exam Components. If you're looking to get your VCP Data Center Virtualization Certification, then you're going to need to meet specific requirements set out by VMware to achieve the VMware Certified Professional, aka VCP DCV. The exam is difficult, and you need to know VMware pretty well and have some hands-on experience to pass the exam. In this video, I will explain the six main VMware Certified Professional aka VCP DCV certification components, six core components of VCP DCV exam preparation, and give more information about how the exam testing process works. First of all, if you already know about VMware Certified Professional, then you are probably wondering what is VCP DCV? Well, once again, VMware decided to rename and rebrand its line of products. So VMware's VCP DCV is a new name for what is used to be known as VMware Certified Professional, or just VCP. And I must admit, the new name sounds way cooler than before. Now for in-depth information about VMware training and VCP exam preparation labs, please visit our website at www.viadmin.com. All right, so what is VCP DCV, or VMware Certified Professional Data Center Virtualization Certification? Previously referred to as VCP, or VMware Certified Professional on vSphere, VCP 510, this test is a crucial step toward becoming a fully certified VMware administrator. VMware examinations test a wide range of material and require an immense knowledge of many detailed subjects. That being the case, our VCP exam preparation training has been specifically built to prepare you for success. The type of administrator abilities and knowledge you gain from our VCP exam preparation training and practice labs are the same kind you will use every day as a professional. Why should you be looking into becoming a VMware certified professional? In today's job market, more and more employers are seeking people with virtualization training, specifically data center virtualization. However, in order to truly stand out, it is important to obtain an official certification of your skills. You can do that by becoming a VMware Certified Professional for Data Center Virtualization. The industry's well-recognized VCP certification requirements consist of a 3-5 to five day VMware accepted training and practical experience with VMware. By earning VCP, you are certified to effectively install, run, and administer VMware vSphere. So, VMware Certified Professional Certification is essential to jump-starting your career as companies place high value on this type of data center and cloud education. All right, so what are the VCP advantages? There are numerous advantages of becoming a VMware Certified Professional, VCP DCV. Aside from offering employers or clients an industry-recognized distinction, which they usually have confidence in, Certified individuals are permitted to use the official VMware Certified Professional logo on their business cards and website. Other benefits include a free of charge license of VMware Workstation, inclusion in beta exam seminars, access to the VCP store, and reduced registration costs for VMware events and programs. Now what are the requirements? Basically speaking, there are two different paths to VCP DCV certification based on your background. Number one, if you are just starting and have no experience with VMware, you need to attend one of these four courses. One, VMware vSphere Install, Configure, Manage. Two, VMware vSphere Fast Track. Three, VMware vSphere Optimize and Scale. Four, VMware vSphere Troubleshooting Workshop. The troubleshooting course is only recommended for those of you who have significant experience with VMware vSphere. After attending one of these four courses, you need to pass the VCP DCV exam. Number two, 
If you hold VCP4 certification, you need to take the VMware vSphere What's New course and then pass the VCP DCV exam. What to expect at the VMware Certified Professional Exam You are going to see that people report having different experiences during taking the VCP exam, which vary from one testing center to another. However, let's take a look at what to expect on the exam. These were all based on the experiences that our customers went through to pass VCP DCV exam and shared with us. You may experience similar results when you go for your VCP exam as well. First, you need to set an appointment with your local Person View test center. This is done through VMware's website and from the home page, select Services. then Certification, and then Get Certified. And look for the Data Center Virtualization section. Click on VMware Certified Professional Data Center Virtualization VCP DCV. and undertake the exam, you have the option to click on Exam Registration. You are going to be sent over to Pearson View site where you will set the location of the exam center and schedule a date and time for your VCP exam. We suggest you do that at least two weeks prior. Taking the exam. First thing you have to do when you arrive at the Pearson View Exam Center is to identify yourself and sign in. Most Pearson View testing centers require two forms of ID. For example, a driver's license and a major credit card with your name on it. Also, make sure to bring a printed copy of the confirmation email which you received from Pearson View. This should cover all you need to be allowed to take the VCP exam. Most Pearson View testing centers require two forms of ID. For example, a driver's license and a major credit card with your name on it. It is of highest importance to read this email closely. Second thing you need to do is empty your pockets and place your belongings such as cell phone, wallet, car keys, and laptop into a backpack. The staff at the testing center will make sure your stuff is locked up and you will be unable to access them during the exam. Usually, keys to your locker are kept at the front desk with the staff. Once you go through that procedure, you will be led into a testing room, usually a small one, with up to five computers which are separated from each other by a wall. A member of the staff will turn on one of the computers for you and will start the Pearson View testing application for you. You will be asked to sit down and follow the instructions on the screen. In the room, there will be a video camera to monitor you and guarantee that you will not cheat nor talk to anyone during the examination. First thing to do when you sit in front of the computer assigned to you is to enter your name and so on, and then the test will start. Before taking the VMware VCP exam, there will be a quick questionnaire survey which will ask questions about what you know in terms of VMware. Some questions that will be asked, for example, do you know how to set up or have experience with an HA or a shared LUN? Again, this is not the real exam, it's just a survey. Once you are done with the survey, you will be answering questions one at a time. During the whole test, you will not be able to preview whether your answers are correct or not. There is a possibility to go back to previous answers and at the end of the test, before submitting it, you can check them once again and change the answers you selected initially. Approximate time for this test is 90 minutes, although it should only take you about 60 minutes to finish. Read the questions carefully and thoroughly, and make sure to answer the questions as soon as you can or you will risk running out of time. As soon as the test is done, you will gather your stuff 
and go to the front desk where the staff would be waiting for you together with your VCP exam results printed out. It shows your score along with the certification number, which is only a temporary form of acknowledgement stating that you took the VCP DCV exam. This document will show your VCP exam results as well as your temporary proof showing whether you failed or passed. Usually, within a few weeks, you will receive an official certificate specifying that you completed the test on VMware in your email box together with a free serial number to make your own copy of the VMware workstation. Despite your success in passing the VCP, at the end of the day, it is not affordable, especially considering the fact that VMware requires you to attend one of their highly overpriced courses. Even if you are a day-to-day -day user of VMware, you have a deep knowledge of ESXi or vCenter server, you won't be able to pass the exam without good preparation. Our VCP DCV exam preparation training and labs is all you need to prepare for you for the exam. I highly recommend you purchase it today and get ready for those difficult and unexpected questions. If you'd like to hear what other people are saying about the VCP exam, please check online, search for VCP exam reviews, and you will see everyone out there highly recommending that you prepare yourself well for the exam. Otherwise, you probably won't be able to pass the exam. The questions are very tricky, and you can easily choose the wrong answers. For example, John Weston, cloud evangelist for Microsoft, commented about VCP exam. Back in January, I attended a week-long in-person training on VMware vSphere. I took the VCP exam right after the training and did not pass. I studied some more, practiced with the software, and took the VCP test again this week, and passed. VCP was a hard exam. I can say that because I had passed over 40 Microsoft exams in the past 18 plus years. So don't take any chances. Sign up for access to VMware Practice Lab and exam preparation training and save time and money while developing your skills to pass your VMware Certified Professional Data Center Virtualization Exam. Let us help you climb that ladder of success and pass your VCP exam with confidence and obtain that VMware certification. Did you know that after watching our videos, you can sign up for a week of remote access to our VMware Lab? It's custom built and allows you to actually practice on enterprise grade VMware servers and storage. VIadmin.com provides a remote server environment or VMware practice lab composed of vSphere ready lab servers for class or individual use. You can sign up at www.viadmin.com for access to the lab. You get one dedicated server with lots of memory, plenty of network cards, co-training servers in a cluster, two shared SAN LANs, management station, and a KVM controller to manage your server. Within the VMware lab, you can set up any scenario including multipathing, high availability, vMotion, fault tolerance, DRS, create 10, 15, or more virtual machines, and test all of the VMware advanced features. One more thing, we have an instructor-led vSphere training consisting of live mentoring, e-labs, and e-lectures, all delivered online. The training offers the professional a specialized tutoring platform that isn't available elsewhere and includes a schedule that matches your particular needs, live one-to-one -one tuition with an instructor, various labs, and Q&A sessions, and the chance to master VMware virtual infrastructure on a real-life teaching environment. Our VMware virtual mentoring goes far beyond mere video teaching. With access to a live tutor, you'll be helped through the different labs and you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and learn even more. So if you're really looking to gain hands-on VMware experience, you've come to the right place. Sign up for VMware Lab, Self-Managed Access, or join one of our instructor-led trainings today. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have a special YouTube subscribers bonus. When you sign up for access to our VMware Lab, 
Send us your YouTube username and we'll give you an in-depth, easy to follow, step-by-step -step lab book with lots of exercises and over 200 pages of top quality training for free.